Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for School Live, Chapter 64. Um, we last left off. Uh, the School Life Club made a last-ditch effort to try to get the Random Protection Agency to take all of them instead of just Kurumi, uh, or just killing them all. And that failed, so they just got the hell out of town. Um, that was really it last month. So let's jump right on into Chapter 64, titled Flight. Our cover page is a picture of Alzoi uh, in, like, a city. Uh, so anyway, we open back on the RV as... Um, Everyone's kind of hanging out. Uh, looks like they're stopped because no one's driving at the moment. Uh, but like Yuki, Kudumi, and Miki are all chatting. Aozoi is smoking out a window. And uh, Yuri is like preparing cereal, it looks like. And uh, Miki speaks up to uh, Yuri. Um, please just give me a small portion. And they both look at each other. And Yuki pops up, you're on a diet! You want a nice body going into summer. No, uh, I'll join you. Huh? It's hard to diet by yourself. That's right. A diet is not a bad idea. We have to look for swimsuits. Okay. <laughs> is that where we're going with this? Uh, didn't they already get swimsuits back in the the high school arc way back when? I feel like that already happened. Uh, but Aozoi just like looks off to the side. In our current situation, it's logical to ration food. Oh, that's what they're doing. Shiko-san, you're dieting too? Yeah. A few hours earlier, Yuki-senpai was the first to notice a loud sound coming from the sky. We stopped the vehicle immediately. Soon enough, we could all hear it. And you see the helicopter approaching Randall, and they all look out at it. Um, and Miki, like, breaks a sweat as she's staring at it. We don't quite see if they, like, firebomb the building or anything. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Well then, there are lots of things you have to consider. First, Yuki-chan, good work. Uh-huh. We stopped the car quickly, so I don't think they noticed us. That helicopter, was it really... It was flying towards the Randall HQ. It means they came to meet us right away. Right now, they're probably searching the building. We better put some distance between us and them right away. Oh, no, that, that's Yuki talking. We better put some distance between us and them right away. Right, Yuki-chan. Let us know if you hear anything. Aye, aye, sir. So, where are we going? And that, I, was, I was always like, I was always needs a plan, you know. Uh, and the girls all look at each other. Um, then they go to a gas station. Okay, you're clear. And she's like backing up the RV to, uh, to the gas station front door. Uh, perfect. Oh, she, they're, they're just parking. They're just parking like regular people. How does it look? No sign of anything coming out. It looks like we can use this as a base. They're making a base out of a gas station? All right. Then let's clean it like we did before. Yuki-chan, stay in the RV. Let us know if you hear anything. Roger. And Aozoi is full of, like, off-to-the-side panels today. Then then I'll do the, I'm coming too. Aozoi's doing, Aozoi's coming into the gas station to help clean up with Miki. About the rationing. It could cause problems. And uh, Miki looked up in shock. Didn't you say it's logical? I did. You see, we don't know how long this will take. We're heading to another Randall lab, but we don't know if we can use it. On top of that, it's possible they'll be waiting for us. So, so it's not a, not a good idea. Under the best of circumstances, this would be stressful. What'll happen if we lose our composure due to hunger? Ah, oh, okay. And Miki, you know, like, kind of takes it all in. It looks like we can use this convenience store as a base. That should solve the food problem for the time being. Shiko-san. You were alone that whole time, right? Well, yeah. How could you bear it? Hmm? I was just wondering since it might be a useful reference for how to deal with stress. My case won't help you. I don't care what happens. Huh? It helps if you think nothing matters. And she, like, puts up a cigarette and starts to smoke it. Whether you live or die or what happens to mankind, when you don't care at all, it hurts less. And Miki's eyes, like, go wide. It does matter. That's why I said it wouldn't help you. If you're looking for a more applicable stress management technique, there is one pretty good one. And it goes back to Yuki. Huh? So yeah, so we see here, Aozoi's really just gone straight into, like, nihilism as a way to cope. And I really do love that, like, Miki just shoots down her worldview in, like, no time flat. I really love that. Like, way to go, Miki. 
Oh, uh, anyway, back to Yuki. Miku, you quit your diet? Yes. And she goes back, she's like eating this huge bowl of cereal. Makes sense. You're already very pretty. You don't need to lose any more weight. Yeah, exactly. Kermichan, you should eat more. Here, take this. Hmm? You have to eat more protein or, you, or you'll lose your muscular physique. Uh, she can't even walk. <laughs> Who are you calling muscular? You look like a baby. Uh, you shouldn't have said that. Yuki-senpai, you sure are energetic. And uh, Yuki looks over at Miki and leans real close in. You want to know my secret? Yes. You know, I asked Bowman-kun, what should we do from now on? You ask Bowman-kun? What do you say? He's still thinking about it. But as Bowman-kun, I'm sure he'll come up with something good. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but we'll be okay. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Senpai? Mm, what? And uh, Miki looks at her. No, well, Senpai, I'm glad you're here. You say some good thing, Mikun. Hey, what are you talking about over there? Don't leave me out. Are they being quiet for once? Because Kermit's like right next to Yuki and she apparently can't hear them. No, it's a secret between me and Mikun. Eh? And uh, Azua gets up and uh, Miki turns to look at her. Shiko-san, it's my turn on watch. Shiko-san, hmm? Take care. Yeah. And she goes out um, to the, the driver section of the RV, it looks like, and she sits down and gets her laptop out, and she's just looking out at, like, the world. Uh, and then we cut to the middle of the night as the School Life Club is sleeping in the uh, convenience store. Except for, is that, it's either Yuki or Miki who's sitting up. I can't, I can't get a good look at her face. I think it's Yuki. Um, yeah, it's definitely Yuki. I mean, she's like, leans down into her arms. It looks like she's crying, but we can't really see her eyes, so it's really hard to tell. Uh, she hears a rustling from Miki's sleeping bag and looks over to Miki. Uh, and then goes right back into her sleeping bag and snuggles up with her phone and Bowman. And then it's the next morning. Mikun, Mikun, what is it? It's still early. Look, and she shows the phone to Miki. You've received one voice message. Shall I play it? Is that it? Oh no, that's the end of the chapter? I thought we had a few more pages. Oh wow, okay. So that was, that was a, that was a pretty good chapter. Um, I was about to call it fun, and it's, it's really not the kind of thing you call fun. Uh, this, that, you know, deep, uh, that, like, debate of Aozoi and Miki's worldviews, which was really good, but it was not very fun. Uh, it was, it was still a really good chapter. Um, but yeah, seeing, you know, at no point does Miki give in to, you know, Aozoi's existential despair, you know, Aozoi's all like, oh, it doesn't matter if, um, if the fate of mankind doesn't really matter. And Miki's just like, yeah, it does. No, we're not even playing that game. It, it fucking matters. Uh, which was great for Miki. I really love that scene. Uh, and then we have Yuki being, you know, the, the good stress management technique of just being happy. That was great to see. Um, and then I'm curious, kind of curious what, like, like, um, the, the author, um, made a point of showing Alzoi getting on her laptop. So I'm kind of curious what she's working on, or if it's just, like, there to fill up space, um, I don't know. I hope not. But I'm, I, sh I imagine she's working on something, because I was always, always working on something. Uh, but yeah, and then we have the voice message. I'm assuming the voice message is from Randall, wondering where they are. Um, that's basically my best guess. I'm also kind of curious what they're planning to do at the next Randall lab, because I don't really know. I, I don't really know what their goal is. Like, I, I don't think that the five of them are equipped to, like, create a cure. So, I don't know, maybe they're trying to find some clue at another Randall lab. I'm not exactly sure. But I am really curious what is going to be on this voicemail. Uh, is it going to be Randall? Is it going to be, I don't know, maybe the, the uh, fuck, what's their name? The Fallen Crew? The girls at college are going to have some way to communicate with them now. I don't really know. I'm, it's probably Randall. Um... That's my best guess. Uh, but yeah. I don't really know where we're going from here. I don't know how long we're going to be here at the G-Mart. Um, but I'm excited to see what comes next. Which is really all you really need to be. Uh, so, yeah. 
that's really all I kind of have to say about this month's chapter. It was a lot of fun. Alzoi, not a lot of fun, but really good. Uh, Alzoi and Mi the Alzoi and Miki scene was great. I've all honestly didn't really love their kind of like kind of disliking relation. Not quite disliking, but like the their whole like relationship together has always been um, one of the better parts of Miki's character. Um, and I'm always down for more Miki and Alzoi. Uh, so, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And then we have the setup. Why do I keep saying fun when I not, that's not the word I'm looking for at all? This is the third time. Uh, it was really good. Uh, and then there is, of course, a cliffhanger of who is calling Yuki or who called Yuki last night. And I'm really upset we have to wait a month to find out what happens next. But you know what? That's just how it is. So I hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video. If you did, feel free to drop me a like, subscribe, whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care. And as always, people, keep kicking ass and I'll see you in the future. Bye.